this whole entire time, decades, y'all, 20, over 20 years, I was trying to lose the same weight I've just lost in two and a half months because I was idolizing, worshiping, focusing on whatever you want to call it, the struggle in losing that weight. This is the Kimmy Bell Show. Let's just go on and spill the tea. This is one of the realest persons I've ever met. My mission is to encourage every single woman. We're here to lift y'all up. There's no one more effective than moms. You mess with the bull, you gonna get the horns. I need coffee, I need Jesus, and I need therapy. (laughs) (laughs) If you can bring a smile to people's faces, why would you not? True confidence is knowing who you are and why you're here. Hey, y'all, and welcome to the Kim Gravel Show. I'm so glad you're here, and um, especially today, because during this entire season, We are leveling up our lives, and we're doing it together, stepping into that purpose just one step at a time. And today's show is um, very personal to me. Zach, we're back. We're doing it. Here we are. Welcome, Zach. Yeah, we're here. Hi, Kim. I missed you. You've had a big move. You moved all the way across the country. I'm in my new studio, Kim. You're in your new studio, and... um, It looks just like the old studio. (laughs) It's just like the old studio. <laughs> you had a vacation. How does it feel? Do you feel I went to, I went to England. We took the kids, you know, to Buckingham right, Palace. Wait. Best British accent right now. Go. Oh, gosh. I was going to say top of the morning to you, but I think that's the <laughs> Irish. <isn't> it? <laughs> I count it. I count. <laughs> the great thing about it is when we went to England and, you know, I took my 16-year-old and my 14-year-old and then my 52-year-old. Um, and we traveled all over. And Amy went with us, too. And so it was a trip of a lifetime. And we went everywhere. And they went to Wimble- Wimbledon several days because, you know, they're avid tennis players. But uh, yep. my oldest son came back talking in a British accent. So he thinks he's <laughs> British. <laughs> and I sound think smarter. I, I mean, you know. It does. He sounds smarter. And I think that I should have been royal. I really do. You've just been chasing crowds too long, Kim. I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm telling you, I I told Amy, I said, Amy, I truly think I should have been some kind of royalty in some some place somewhere in this world. And she goes, well, I'm telling you, you're not. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Amy. I love Amy so much. (laughs) <laughs> we got to see so many things. And of course we didn't eat because these people don't eat. I'm like, where is the Kit Kat bar? I mean, I just can't just run down and get you a pack of M&Ms. I mean, that's just not, it's like, um, so, you know, the first thing we did when we got, you know, landed, I went and got me a pack of peanut M&Ms, but it was so much fun. It was a yep. trip of a lifetime. But when I came back and, and got on air, um, we were inundated with, oh my gosh, Kim, you've lost so much weight. And Zach, I have lost 37 pounds. Wow. Hold on. I need to do that. Yeah. And you look, so when I came back you look and I got great, Kim. Well, this is the thing. Now you don't have to play with the funny camera angles that I always insist on you doing because <laughs> now any angle works. All right. <laughs> Hey. Amy, we came back and had to take pictures for, you know, something we had on QVC. And Amy goes, oh, my God, the pictures took like five seconds. So we're like, chica, chica, chica. Amy goes, oh, my God, these pictures are so easy because you're thin. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say, because you're thinner. Let's just thinner. thinner. Let's there not get go. crazy. Kim. Let's not get crazy. Wait, but so, all right, so how'd you do it? Like, tell us. Well, <laughs> I, I've started eating my factor meals, and I did something that... I've never consciously done before that I want to talk about on today's show. Okay. Okay. There's a, there's a process I want to talk to everyone listening to me right now about what I've done. I didn't even know I was doing it until I looked back. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to give you step by step of how I myself and my oldest son really changed the trajectory of our lives, but you got to come back after this break to hear it. So you don't want to miss it. This is going to be a game changing episode for you. Um, I've been sharing this with all of my friends and all of my family and people that I've come in contact with. And if you'll receive it and, and really listen with an open heart and an open mind and allow God to speak to you through this, these stories I'm going to share with you after the break, 
I truly believe it can happen for you too. So we'll be right back. All right, Kim, we've been getting so many great five-star reviews on the show. Um, I want to read you another one, okay? Okay, okay. Listen, I love a good five-star review. I'm going to read it to you, and then I want you to review the review, okay? This is the little review game that we are starting to play. Here's a five-star review you recently got from, and you'll like this name, okay? Not Techie. (laughs) That's the username. Oh, God, I can relate to that. (laughs) All right, she wrote, love, love, love. I watch QVC and get pepped up from Kim all the time, and I love her clothes. Now I found her podcast, and my dream is to one day meet her. This podcast oh. is really helping me right now, and I'm sharing it with friends. Five stars. Well, I give her five stars because I say we make the meet and greet happen. We should get together and do something, break bread, talk, do something. I love it. This is the whole thing. If you feel, when you are listening to the podcast, the Kim Gravel Show podcast, and you feel inspired, encouraged, or uplifted, that's our goal, right, Zach? We, that's yeah. what we want you to do. It's not about us. It's not about... It's just about, even though it's not about the content. I mean, it's, we want you to have good content, but we want you to feel better about you when you click off of our podcast. So if that is you, right, Zach? They can go review. Oh, yeah. <gasps> go review. That's it. Yeah. If that's you, go review. If that's you, then go review. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give us five stars on Apple, on Spotify, on our website, kimgravelshow.com. And um, maybe we'll review your review on the next episode of The Kim Gravel Show. Okay. All right. We're back. I'm telling you, uh, it's been a transformational summer for me, Zach. I mean, not only did I go to England and almost meet the king. (laughs) (laughs) Can I just tell you, can we just talk about it? I'm not even going to ask. Before we dive in, it's like, uh, like the the, the royal family, all of that, it's it's weird, right? Because, you know, we're Americans. And so everybody is just... Get out there and do your thing and da da da. It's like, it's, I mean, and they are very pro royal fan. I mean, everything revolves around that the tourism, the, and the buildings, the architecture. Oh my gosh, like the beauty. It was inspiring. It was inspiring. I came back inspired, but I got to tell you, I was inspired before that. And, and I want to tell you, I've, I've lost 37 pounds and, um, People are noticing, I'm, you know, I've got back on QVC and people are noticing and how are you doing it? And, da, da, da. and so I wanted to make this podcast because it's not what you think. Okay. It's how it happened is not a typical, you know, weight loss program or workout program or any of that. Um, it started the beginning of May. So I've lost 37 pounds since May, June. And then what, what are we now? July? What, what's today's uh, date? Well, we're recording end of July. And this is going to come out end of August. Well, no, this isn't the end of July. This is the 20th of July. So okay. I've lost 37 pounds since May, June, into the 20th of July. So I'm sitting here. So it's been two and a half months. And I have been trying to lose this 30 pounds for 20 years. Wow. Okay? 20 years. So it's not like... How do you go from 20 years to two and a half months? To actually doing it, yeah. I'm going to start with a story. So okay. my son was, you know, he plays basketball. You know, and if you've read the book, I mean, the basketball journey with Bo has just been torture. I mean, it's That's just been own. one of those things where it's been the most <laughs> learned lessons of the kid's life. I don't know what the heck is going to happen with this kid. You know, I mean, he's, he's not trying to go to the NBA or anything or even play college ball. He's just like high school ball, but it has been a torture since the sixth grade. <laughs> okay. It's just, it's been an, a, just an absolute brick around my waist dragging me down. And, uh, but here's another basketball story. So I don't, God uses it. So we're going to go with it. So, <laughs> Um, at the end of, I think it was the end of like uh, mid June. Okay. So I'd started in May on this weight loss journey, and then mid June, Bo is going to camp. He was going to basketball camp and playing in some tournaments, and he's made the varsity team. And so la 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 la. He's a junior, and so he's you know there's seniors ahead of him and whatever. Well, and he he goes to the the basketball tournament and he plays and what have you the first day, and so the second day, um. He sits the bench, which, hey, look, 
Can't be in all the time. Can't win them all the time. All of that. Sure. That's not what's important. What's important was he sat the bench and then fast forward when he's at home telling us the story. And I was taken back about his, his calmness when he was telling me the story. He said, you know, mom, and the second day I got up and he was telling Travis and I, and he goes, and I was sitting the bench and actually there was a ninth grader playing ahead of him. You know, and, and they pulled up a, a JV player and, and started playing ahead of him. Okay. And he said, I started getting angry. He said, and I started getting upset. He said, he even said, it started pissing me off, mom. I mean, he even said the word piss, which he normally doesn't. And normally I'd slap his face, but he, you know, <laughs> he's, he's in a story. So I'd let him complete it. And, and he said, and I thought to myself, I said, Bo? And he goes, mom, I was like talking to myself about myself. And, you know, he didn't have the words to talk about subconscious or conscious. Sure. And he said, I even like was watching myself sit on the bench. Whoa. Okay. And he said, I was sitting there watching myself get upset on the bench. He goes, in my mind, in my mind, mom. He goes, don't think it's weird. It's in my mind. And I knew exactly what he was talking about, but because I had just had something similar happen to me about my weight loss. And so I, I just let him finish. And he said, I just, I just decided, no, I'm not going to get upset. I'm on the varsity team, and I got to play yesterday, and I'm just going to be here and support my team. I'm not going to get upset. And he said, Mom, two minutes later, the coach puts me in, and I play the whole entire game, the rest of the games for the whole rest of the weekend. And I said, and I'm sitting there going, oh, my God, this is so great. I'm sitting here as a mom going, oh, my gosh, this is so amazing. You know, of course, I show no emotion. I said, well, son. <laughs> Why? I'm trying to be calm because, you know, I'm crazy. Oh, you're like, I got to play cool with these kids. That's like, right. Oh, my God. I got to be mature. <laughs> got to be mature. And I said, well, what do you think happened? He goes, I just decided. He said, and then I got to play. And I thought to myself, that's what happened to me with my weight loss. I wow. woke up one morning in May. I think it was like the first week in May. I've got it written down in my journal. And I just decided I'm doing it. And for the next two and a half months, my body just caught up with that decision. That's cool. What's happening was this whole entire time, decades, y'all, 20, over 20 years, I was trying years. to lose the same weight I've just lost in two and a half months because I was idolizing, worshiping, focusing on whatever you want to call it, the struggle in losing that weight. I put the struggle on the pedestal. Kim! Right, Zach? So what am I saying when I said that? What, do, what did you just take from what I just said? The struggle is one of the things that is a story that you tell about yourself. The struggle is the thing that defines it. The struggle was what I basically worshipped the struggle. Yeah. You worshipped the struggle. You wanted the struggle. The struggle was comforting. The struggle was part of who you were. The struggle was the focus. Whoa, Kim. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, so you're blowing my me. mind right out because I'm thinking yeah, about, it's, like, it's I'm deep. already thinking about the, like, 10 things I do this to myself right. about, right? Right. Oh, my gosh. There's so much to break down here, and it might be a two-episode show. Yeah. Because I want people to if sit I start with that crying, for a second. <laughs> sorry, just cry. I crying, because yeah. I, it was such an eye-opener for me. And and I, I didn't know that about myself until my son had said his story because he said, I, I just decided yeah. And y'all, that's what's happening. We are so we're buying the self-help books. We're buying the the workout programs. We're buy, and all of that is fantastic. We have all the knowledge. We haven't made the decision. Yeah. Right? Wow. We have all the knowledge at our fingertips. We've got the eating plans. We've got the financial plans on how to do this. We 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 know what we need to do. And if we right. don't know what we need to do, all we got to do is find out, Google it, whatever, right. look it up. Uh, We've got there. the knowledge, but we right. haven't made the decision. Make the decision. Okay? I'm, I'm going to tell you this quote. This is okay. this is the quote, and, and, and I love it. I love God because he's, he's always confirming in me what he's trying to teach me. 
And he does it, he can teach you through anything, but he's all, and when I say teach, I mean instruct. I mean, uh, it's not information, okay? Because I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there because, okay. I mean, we hear hard work and the grind and all that. We're going to get there. Yeah, Just hold I wanna, on. I want you to break this down like every We're single step. breaking it down. And like I said, we might not be able to break how... it down all here. We might not be able to break right. it down here because there's three okay. steps to, to, to what I have been set free. It's not been I've lost weight. I have been set free. My mm-hmm. mind has been set free about this 30-something pounds. It's no longer an anchor. It's no longer, I don't worship it. It's no longer a struggle for me ever. It's never going to be again because I've learned this process. I I decided. And let me tell you about decision. And so a lot of you haven't made the decision yet. You're trying and you're doing this and you're doing this, but you haven't decided. Decisions decide destiny. Decisions decide destiny. There is no action without decision. So what has happened is you're trying to take action before making a decision. Okay? Let me make sure I understand this. So if if I want to make if I want to take action, first I need to decide what? What do I need to decide? The outcome? Yes. Hmm. Yes. Okay. What happened was that morning I woke up and in my journal I was reading back And I noticed, my gosh, I say the same thing every day. Every day I write in this book, and every day I'm saying, I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight. Every single day, I'm going to show you all the journal. I'm going to bring it next time. I'm going to read it from page to page. It was the same narrative. I was saying it over and over and over and over again, and it was just becoming my reality. I say this all the time. My mom says every year on her birthday, she's like, I ain't got but 10 good years left. But do you know what she's doing? (laughs) Every single year, she is prolonging her life another 10 years because she says that. I mean, that's what she believes. So she's been saying this since she's been in her 50s. Can I just say that's like kind of a Jewish thing? Because like we have the Jewish people have a holiday (laughs) um, where you say you want to be written in the book of life for the next year. So like you wish everybody that they're going to be written in the book of life. And that's like exactly the same thing that your mom is doing just in a different way. Yeah, that's She's deciding. She's deciding. I'm telling you. It sounds so simple, but it's so true. Bo sat on the bench and just decided. He decided, uh-uh, I ain't doing this. It, it, this is what's wrong. One of the many reasons, and I don't want to. I don't want to stay here because y'all, I'm not a psychologist and counselor. You've heard me say that a million times. I will continue to say. I'm just talking from my personal experience here. That's all I'm speaking from. And I've yeah. talked to so many people since I had this this eye-opening revelation in my life. I've talked to Amy about her weight loss. I've talked to a friend of mine that was struggling financially. She was focusing on her debt, her debt, her debt, her debt. Yep. And you know who you are if you're watching this. Her debt, and, and, and she said, I just decided not to focus on the debt, just focus on the abundance that I have. And the debt just caught up, went away. That's what happened, see? So what happened was I made the decision that, you know, I'm tired of having this narrative. I'm, I'm just going to change my narrative. I'm just going to decide I'm going to do it. And then my body caught up with that decision. Wow. That's so cool, Kim. I love that so much. Because how I, can you struggle for two decades to lose the same 30-something pounds and then do it in two and a half months with no effort whatsoever? Absolutely no struggle to lose this 37 pounds. It's been the easiest thing I've ever done. Because you've got to understand what I'm saying because you're just like, well, I'm saying just made a decision. You've got to understand the mental strength about what I'm talking about. And and, and the beautiful thing about the Bo story was it was very methodical for him. Mm. His mind was stronger than his feelings. So when 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 the mind okay. speaks to the heart and the feeling, everything will follow. Right. He decided in his head and then he directed his feelings. Yeah. So what I was writing in my journal every day was how I felt about my struggle. So when I woke up and read the, the all of that over the past year. I'm like, that was just me writing from January to May. Oh my God, I've been writing the same narrative for decades. When I said, no, today I'm going to decide, I'm just going to lose the weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. I I wrote in my journal, I've already lost the weight. 
I've already lost this weight. I'm moving on. Whoa. It was then, here's step two. Okay. I was able to take massive action. Now, when you say hard work or massive action, what would you rather have? That's funny because I think in a previous life, I would have said hard work, but now 100% action every time. If you're just yes. taking action, you are moving forward. It doesn't matter. Hard work. You're saying you're listening to all hard work, the grind. That's keeping you in chains Yep. because it's not that hard. <laughs> I had a half of a honey bun today. Okay. So you haven't, I haven't been changed depriving the way myself you at all. eat? No, I've you just, I, I've you just, I've just you, cut back. I, I've just said, I don't, I don't want, my whole taste buds have changed. My whole everything. I didn't cut out all sugar. I didn't cut out all sodas. I still had a Coca-Cola this morning. I, I didn't cut out anything. I just, I just, I just changed my mindset. And I just, yeah, I'm like, okay, I, I don't want that. So you are cutting back though. Like just to, just to be clear, it's right, not but I'm just not, in I'm your not, mind. So, you didn't, you didn't, I didn't want manifest to say cutting it back. Like I don't want to say cutting back. I don't want to even say that word. I've just, I just get full and I don't eat anymore. Okay. So no you're eating, but that. you're eating less. You're eating yeah. less. Yes. But, a it's lot because, less. but it's not because you're like on this Trying diet and weight. you're starving yourself and you're counting right. calories and you're right. like, no, I can't let myself have that. Th you are just, right. something has changed with the way that you are interacting with food and the world around yes. you and your own mind. How do, okay, and I so. I took massive action. I took massive action towards something else because what I was doing, I was doing hard work trying to lose weight. And now I just take massive action towards something that I want, not something that I don't want. I, I, why was I focusing on the 37 pounds and what I don't want? Now I just, what, I, what I decided was, you know what? I want to feel better. So I'm going to take a walk. Okay. Not to lose weight, just because I want to take action. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you're exercising, you're walking, Not you're really. eating less. I, took, I, took, I just walked around the neighborhood twice this week. I mean, last week. That's it. But more, but how many times did you do it the week before? Well, I was walking around London. And then the week before that, I just, I took a, I took a walk one time. I'm telling y'all, don't think it's a program because it's not a program. I made the decision. I took massive action towards things that I want in my life, not things that I don't want, things that I want in my life. And my body is caught up. Yeah. And that's number three. When you decide and then you take massive action towards the things that you want in your life, not the things that you don't want. We're focusing on what we don't want and what we're struggling with like it is that important. It's it's not. That's, you're so right. Focus on what you do want. And then your body, your environment, everything about it will catch up. So I have a friend. Um, she's my facialist. Her name is Kelly. And I went in and saw her yesterday. And she's lost 50 pounds since May. And And she has a lot to lose. So she has about another 50 to go. Okay. And we were talking about this. And I said, well, Kelly, what, what made you lose the weight? She said, I, I, don't, I don't know. And she says, but look. And she pulls up a picture of herself that she did of herself in AI. And she said, I put in AI a picture of me and then what I would look like if I lost 100 pounds. Oh. And she said, I got this picture. <laughs> oh, my and I gosh. Said, when, and she could see I it. Said, I said, well, when did you do that? She goes, May. <laughs> I said, well, what are you doing? What's your program to lose weight? She goes, I really don't have a program. She said, I just, she goes, I saw that picture. And I said, oh my God, I want to look like that. She made the decision to look at what she wanted to look like. And then her body now is catching up. Y'all, wow. you don't believe me. Y'all sitting there, they're judging me. You don't believe a word I said. But I'm telling you right now, that is the 100% gospel truth. I promise you, that's exactly what happened. We sat there over an hour and talked about that. 
And she was like, Kim, that is so true. I said, because what? I said, so what has taken, she's been trying to lose this weight for t- over 10 years. Yeah. Because she's 37. Because she said, I want my 40s to be my best years. Yeah. Thanks. She has lost 50 pounds since April to June. That's how many, April, May, June, t- three and a half months. She's lost 50 pounds and she's been trying to do the same 50 pounds. Now, look, this can apply to any part of your life. And, and this is not woo woo, juju, whatever. This is, your mind is so powerful. Thoughts are things. Your body is powerful too, but it will follow the mind. That's why I tell my kids don't be watching trash. Don't be watching trashy movies and listening to trashy people. Don't, don't be doing that because y- your body will follow what the mind is, is, is programmed. And I have been programmed and self-programmed for years to be in a struggle with 37 pounds. And, and, and y'all, it's a limiting belief system. Because what happens is we break promises to ourselves. We don't trust ourselves. <laughs> oh, God. Because we break promises to ourselves. Yeah. You know, and ultimately we don't trust God, but I just want to speak to what you can control. And if every day you say, I'm going to get up and I'm going to work out and I'm going to exercise, and you make that promise to yourself and then you don't follow through, then you break that promise to yourself and so you don't trust yourself. What I'm talking about, that day I made a decision. I said, that's it. I'm tired. I, I, I broke the cycle of not trusting myself. Yes. And I took action to what I want. And, I, and, and, and y'all, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make my bed today. And I made my bed. And then I built trust in myself. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to read a chapter of a book that's been sitting there. I've been trying to read the book for like two years. How many of y'all have done that? Has anybody done that? Like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. And you say it every day. I'm I have a book <laughs> on my counter, I, on my right. bedside table right now. Right. I'm on chapter two. I like so, it. I just never have the time. But this is the thing. Or, or you just don't make the time. Yeah, exactly. See, now you said well, I don't exactly. have any time. Well, I'm then I'm on TikTok y'all. 90 minutes last night. You know, I started watching Hannah Dasher and then I was like, you know, off to the races. Do you see what I'm right? saying? Do you yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what I'm saying to you is it's not, there's no good or bad with that. I mean, do, do fill your time with what you want to, but, but take massive action towards things that you actually want to do. And everything else will catch up. People say to me, Kim, how did you become such an entrepreneur? I, d- I don't really know. I just decided. I'll never forget it. I woke up and said, you know, I'm going to start this club. And that's what we're going to do. <laughs> I, I, I had no idea how. How to do it, who to do it with, when I was gonna do it, how I was gonna pay for it, how I was gonna get into QVC, how I'm gonna do it. I had no idea. Y'all think it's methodical thought? It? No, I just decided and everything caught up with that. I met the right manufacturer. I met the wrong manufacturer. I, you know, everything worked out. I'm telling you, Bo sitting on the bench and looking and saying to himself, I'm deciding not to do this. Hmm. And he was put in, put me in, coach. He yep. put him in. And, and that, he understood, not that I'm playing or not playing basketball, because God knows I can't wait. The basketball is finally over. <laughs> but he learned how he can decide, because let's read the quote again. Let's read the yeah, quote again. Read it. Read it. Decisions decide destiny. There is no action without decision. Today, what decision have you not been making to get out of life what you want? I, I get so many emails. I, I've had so many texts. I mean, so many direct messages on Instagram and, and everything. Kim, how have you lost the weight? How have you lost the weight? Yeah. And I felt like, oh my gosh, am I just going to be a jerk and just text back and go, I just decided to. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, you, like, you like oh, get real, Kim. It. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, I, I, well, we're told that it's hard. We're told that it's hard. There's so many things in life that we're told, oh, it's really hard to make money. It's really hard to be successful. It's really hard to lose the weight. It's really hard to insert thing. It's not. It just requires a decision and then to take action. Because what's happening when you're not losing the weight, when when you're talking about it, when you're writing it down, when you're always, it's the perpetual hamster wheel in your mind, that is work. 
Y'all, I've been on this health revolution, and I've done it with the help of Factor. Uh Yeah, I'm telling you, if you're too busy running around during the day to think about lunch or what I'm going to have for dinner, if you want to keep your energy up, and if you want effortless, wholesome meals uh, like grain bowls and salad toppers, and they're just ready to eat whenever you're on the go, no microwave needed, Factor has it for you. These are dietitian approved calorie smart meals, and they're around 550 calories per serving or less. Yeah. And they're so yummy. And if you need an extra boost to support your wellness goals or your health revolution and to feel your best for the rest of the summer, try the Protein Plus meals. They have 30 grams of protein per serving. Y'all. Wow, fills you up and it's so yummy. Round out your meals to replenish your snack supply. They have over 45 assorted add-on snacks, including breakfast items, uh, like y'all, the delicious apple cinnamon pancakes. Oh gosh. Bacon and cheddar egg bites, bacon and egg breakfast skillets, or an easy wellness boost. Try refreshing beverage options that you can drink it too, like a cold pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. They've got everything you need for your health revolution. So just head on over to factormeals.com slash Kim50 and use code Kim50 to get 50% off because that's what you want. You want that 50% off. And that's code Kim50 at factormeals.com slash Kim50 to get 50% off. So go on over to factor.com and check out all the selections because they're going to fill you up and they're going to slim you down. Can I just like take a step back for a second? Like, you know me, like I'm always like skeptical. I'm the skeptic, right? (laughs) And I'm not skeptical. And I'm honestly not skeptical of this. Like I I feel it. I'm I'm getting it. But I also feel like this is also hard. Like this, this is hard, right? It's not. It's, it's part of you was defined by that struggle. Part of who you were, you probably had lots of conversations over the last two decades about weight loss and about girl, I just, I wish I could get that 20 pounds off or I wish I, you know, I mean, I've, I've heard it, right. I've heard it on the show. And in my own head too. And in your head, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And so you actually, you lost that and that is comfort. Right. Part of that. And the reason why you say it, even though it's frustrating and it's bad, is comforting, right? Because it's like, oh, well, I'm someone who needs, is blank. I'm someone who needs to lose Mm -hmm. 30 pounds. I'm someone Mm -hmm. who, you know, just needs the right opportunity and then I'll be a big star or whatever, like insert your thing, right? And do you feel like, do you miss that at all? I guess is the question. No, I'm free. I'm totally free. And not only am I free from the narrative, I've got to lose 30 something pounds. But I'm free that I understand this process and now I can apply it to other areas in my life. Mm. Because, y'all, this is the thing. Everything you need, have, want, and desire, you already possess. There's nothing external that can fill you up and make you or take you down. That only happens internally. Let me say that again. Okay. Nothing external can take you down or build you up. That only happens internally. We are so used to looking outside of what happens to us or doesn't happen to us. This shift that I'm talking about inside, it's, it's, It's supernatural in the fact that God has, in his all of his amazing sovereign mercy, has given us such a power in our minds to be a part of our own solutions to the problems that we have. He's the ultimate creator, but that's not this show. We're not talking about my faith here. Faith is is the is is the go get collecting confidence because it starts with your faith. I'm talking about this is this is something that we're practicing, we're deciding all the time. Yeah. It's just now we're going to take absolute control over what we're going to decide for ourselves. Okay. That's what happened to me. That's what happened to Bo. That's what happened to my friend Kelly. Yeah. But we didn't even know it. Do you know what I'm saying? Bo was the one who, fi- Bo knew it. He figured that, I mean, he, when he d- decided and decided, he saw the decision and figured saw the out. results of that. I, when I was doing that, that, that didn't come to me like that. 
It, and Kelly just, she was deciding and didn't even know that she was doing her AI. She was like, I want to look like that. She just decided. Kim, I, I was just looking this up. Um, I, I had this thought as you were talking right now, I was Googling <laughs> and I'm on Wikipedia right. right now. I'm looking at the four minute mile because I, I actually recently heard on a different podcast, I forget which one, they were talking about the four minute mile, right? And that people thought for a long time that humans couldn't run that fast. Yeah. And then as soon as someone did it, Right. Then lots of people started doing it. And when okay, you okay, some, okay, okay. something in so, me sort of clicked, right? Like when you were saying right. your friend looked at the AI photo and she yes. suddenly realized I could look like this. Like this is right. possible. Right. Then she can do but it. What I'm asking is why didn't people run a four minute mile before? What happened that all of a sudden now that they can just run a four minute mile? Yeah. I, did, did, cuz my question is did people have to struggle and work out and work hard and to all of a sudden run the 4 minute mile like that dude did? It, it's no. all mental, right? Is right. that what you're saying? Yeah, it's all mental. And saying. now almost 2000 people is, have done it. Right, but that's that's what I'm saying. It how can I go from May to June and lose 37 pounds? When I have been trying to do it for decades, like what? It's 60 days, 60, 70 something days. It's like for all the people that have like, that are listening to you and they're like, yeah, well, Kim, what have you done for 20? You're saying you're trying to lose it for 20 years. Like, oh what have you done? God. Can you tell us? Can you just run through some of the, you don't have to call, I guess, different diets out, I, but what have you done? I've tried the, the Weight Watchers. I've tried, uh, personal trainers. I've tried and done it and done it. But why is it that I'll do it for two weeks and never do it again? Or I'll do it for a week or whatever and get discouraged and whatever. Why, why was I always doing it? And you know what? My mom said something that she said, it's just, it's the right time. And, and I, I was like, no, no, no. I mean, there's something to that. What I'm like, mom, what do you mean? It's the right time. She says, it's just, you just, it's the right time. What she's saying is you just decided. Yeah. Time doesn't decide for us. We decide what we do with our time. Time is not our master. It's so hard, especially like with all the external stuff coming at us. Like, I mean, you know, you have kids. I have young kids. Like, I feel like I'm a supporting character in their lives right now, right? They're the protagonist. I'm the supporting character. And I have to be on their clock and, uh, you know, attend to their needs. But and, that's not true. You're the mom. Right. You're, the, you're the dad. I'm telling you, it's just a way that you look at your life. And and honestly, a lot of times our decision, we're allowing circumstances, other people um, make decisions for us. Again, my dad said in the book, you're not a fat girl. You're just living like you are. Yep. I'm telling y'all, this was an absolute breakthrough. And, and I knew it in myself, but when my son came and told me the story, and then Kelly, because I love things in threes. You know I'm a three person. And so when I was like, but I was like, oh, this is crazy. And then I was talking to Amy, and she was like, Kim, you're right. Because she just decided. Amy's been overweight her whole entire life, and, and she just got up and decided. Amy doesn't have the willpower to go work out. And people think she lost weight because she went and worked out. No, that ain't it. She, she just decided she was going to do it. Because how? Because yeah. you would quit. She looks amazing. Because she's still going five days amazing. a week. She would quit. You, 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 She's going five days a week to the gym. Yeah, still. Yeah. Amy's amazing. Yeah. Wow. But you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we think, oh, she she has lost weight because she went to the gym. No, she's lost weight because she decided. She keeps going to the gym because. She likes it. Yeah, she likes it. It makes her feel. I get it. I started it too. I'm telling okay. you. What So, okay, what would you say, you know, as we sort of start to wrap up this topic, because I think there's so much here and I think we do have to have another mm -hmm. episode. I'm going to make you bring your journal and your I'm diary onto the show. Yep. Um, yep. And we'll do that soon. So stay tuned for that, everybody. But um, what would you say to people who aren't there yet that, that aren't? I what, get it. For whatever I, reason, I, like, you know, you right. 10 years ago, right? You weren't ready to make that Correct. shift. You said your mom said you were ready. What, yeah. what are the hacks? What are the, you know, whatever you want to call it, the, the tools, the steps, how can you I, start? I, I don't, I don't want to talk about action before you've made your decision. So okay. I think you've got to sit in a place of contemplating and really thinking about this decision-making process. Um, and I think I'll come back to you 
next week or in a few weeks, and and we'll really dive into what decision making does and how it affects us, and how we are on default with making our decisions because that was what was happening to me. I, it wasn't I was getting up every day and choosing to make the decision to stay in the narrative of I am a fat girl and I need to lose thirty pounds. It was not I was doing that. It was just habit. It was just a default mode that I was I was going in. It's when I disrupted the default and just made a different decision It's when everything else caught up. And so a lot of us are out there taking action before we've made the decision. Decision is directly related to destiny. But destiny, but destiny cannot be seen before a decision is made. And for some of you, it might sound like, woo, 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 hard work, hard work. I get it because it's, it's totally opposite than what we have been taught our entire lives. <laughs> yeah. But I can promise you this. Listen to me. Get in close. Everything that has been amazingly successful in my life has not come from hard work. It has come with ease. There have been obstacles. There have been sleepless nights. I've had to work, but I've enjoyed every minute. Every bit of ever, my business, my kids, my home, my relationships. I, I really sat and thought about this. Every bit of it started with a decision, and then it came to me. And I know everybody's sitting here going, Kim, you are full of it. Well, then turn it off. Don't listen to this. But for those of you who are intrigued or at least a little bit curious, we got to start looking at things differently to get yeah. different outcomes. Because I'm going to tell you, for a lot of us, the same old, same old, it ain't working, is it? Now, if your same old, same old's working, keep on doing what you're doing. But if you are sitting here and saying, Kim, I'm depressed. I want to lose 30 pounds. I want to make more money. I want to have more of a full relationship with my marriage, or I want, you know, a better relationship with my kids or whatever. We you got to start making different decisions. So till next time. Who's ready to level up? Me. Me. Let's do it. Let's I'll do it. Let's everybody. do it together. All right. All right. We'll, we'll see y'all next week. Next week. Kim, bring your journal. I'm bringing it. <laughs> and make good decisions. <laughs> That's amazing. Pounds. I mean, Kim, you look great. I mean, you're I, looking I, great. I, I'm, at, I, I'm, I'm two pant sizes. That's These amazing, Kim. Uh -huh. So you're not. So you can't say that you're a loose. Well, wait, what is it? A tight, tight 12, 12 and a loose 14. Anymore. Now you're a tight 10 and a loose 12. No, you're a tight I'm not eight. wearing 12s. I'm a tight okay. eight and a loose 10. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Zach, huh? Oh.